And welcome back to another DRC show. That's right. Today I've titled our little episode DRC for you and DRC for me. And uh, of course, it's all remote control cars. I do have a drone in there. But in case you don't know, I do represent DRC. They send me a few cars to look at. And I just take them out and drive them around and crash them and bash them and let you know if they're good or if they're not. Now, they in no way whatsoever tell me what to say, what to do, or, you know, try to get me to just say all good things about their products. They just say, here it is, check it out, do a review on it, and we appreciate it. So, all these opinions are mine. It's all my thoughts, and, uh, you know, I like to give everything a nice, fair look. I don't look at these cars at a skewed perspective. I don't expect them to perform like a thousand dollar car but i do expect them to perform better than a twenty dollar car and they are very quite nice and we will get into all that and go over all that mm -hmm. and in case if you watch me on a regular you notice that i have like a it's a minute long intro that leads up before i go live and in case you're just wondering the reason why i do that is because i have i'm actually multi-streaming three different platforms and i have to let them all sync up before I can fully go live. So I just play a little hype music, get things rolling, you know? And uh, once everything is good, then we cut to the show. So without any further delay, we're gonna be jumping over to the first DRC vehicle. It's gonna be the 9500E. It is a toy grade car, but it's a very nice car and it's very capable and probably quicker than you think. And if you have any questions during this entire thing whatsoever, feel free to drop any questions and I will be more than happy to ask them. Even if it's not related to RC, let's make it fun. Just ask whatever you might want to ask. Okay, so box number one, DRC 9500E. And this is a little guy right here. It's close to a 10 scale. It's one of their newer models. And uh, the way I tend to rate their, their vehicles is you have some that are hobby grade, you have some that are toy grade, and what falls in between. And this one is not full toy grade. It, it's kind of like part hobby grade, but pr probably more toy grade. But it's very capable. The stats I have on this, it'll do a 100, 100 foot drag race in 4.7 seconds. It'll pull 0.7 G's, and I know that because I have a little GPS thing that I put in it, and it tops out at about 17 miles an hour, which is quite respectable for a vehicle that costs $74.99. And if you buy it during this during this live or on the repeat of the live, I have a promo code preloaded for this to give you an additional 15% off of that $74.99. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a deeper dive into this vehicle. I even have some footage of this with me jumping it off of the roof of my house, jumping it off a trailer, you know, which is like a big car hauler trailer. So you might want to stick around and see that because I just like to prove how durable they are. And despite all my crazy jumps, I have not broken this thing yet. And uh, it's just a very cool little car. So as you can see, we're going to start with the body. We're going to pop it off. And you do get Lexan bodies with the DRC vehicles. And I've crashed this one a plenty. You can see all the big scratches on the roof and stuff. And it has not cracked or split yet. It is painted from the inside. Has a nice roll cage and a nice spoiler, which seems to be the fad right now with all these uh, 
RC car companies. They all have these nice little spoilers on them. But uh, this has a very nice looking truck body. It's called the Attack High Speed Car. Even though it's a truck, but that's okay. We know what they mean, right? But uh, very nice little body. We're going to go ahead. We're going to move on. And we're going to go to the inside of the vehicle. And this is what he looks like right here. And I'm going to just go over the things real quick that uh, it's going to kind of point out what is toy on this. And I'm going to point out what's more hobby on this. Okay. And we're going to just go to the front. On the front, it has independent suspension and it has friction shocks. Friction shocks are kind of the toy hobby, but it is a coilover shock. You know, so it's kind of, it's they're kind of toyish because they're plastic. If they're aluminum, I would say that they were more hobby grade. So you have the plastic shocks, you have the plastic A-arms, you have the plastic dog bones, and everything is plastic on this car. But it's made out of an extremely flexible plastic, so it takes hits really, really well. Trust me, because when I show the footage of me jumping this off my roof, you're going to see how it lands and wonder how it didn't break. Or the two times I jumped it off the trailer or all the other times I've bashed it. But uh, but you have the indep independent suspension in the front. You do have dog bones out drives. They are plastic cups. But uh, if you look on the inside, this thing has two motors. It doesn't have a drive shaft connecting the front differential to the rear. And for whatever reason, they just put a motor up front and a motor in the back. They do have the red heat sinks on them. And the front's very nice. The thing that I really don't like about the back, back, but it really doesn't matter on this car, is the fact that it's a straight axle in the back. It's just a solid axle, but you still have the independent suspension and you get decent travel. I mean, I would have liked to see an independent, but when you're driving it, you don't notice it. And for something that's is going to cost you less money than what you're going to buy at say kmart walmart target whoever this thing blows anything that they have away at the same price i can guarantee you that but uh it's a nice little car you can see it has like a hobby grade servo in here and uh it's got the built-in servo saver so you don't strip it out when you catch your wheels when you crash and bash and hit stuff it's got headlights in the front it's got the air filled tires there is no foam in them but they are a soft enough rubber. And uh, it is brushed, it's not brushless. But I mean, really for what it is and for the price and even with the discount that you get 15% off, it's a very capable little car. You can have a ton of fun with this thing at the skate park in your front yard. I set up an actual a six foot table, pulled it in half and made a big ramp out of it and was just bashing this thing time and time again. And yeah, I mean, it held up to it, no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put on the video of me jumping this off my roof because I want you to see how it does. What's up, Ross? Ross is in the house on Facebook. If you don't know who Ross is, he has a drone by DRC and he makes a ton of videos flying it around, doing some pretty spectacular flying, skimming water doing all kinds of crazy cool stuff so if you're on facebook you see his comment there you should go check him out let's get that little drc queued up real quick already got it queued up today i'm gonna make it full screen for you guys all righty we're gonna ramp it off the roof see how it holds up And just perfect. So a pretty tough little truck for being toy grade. Being well under a hundred dollars. Full wheel drive. Comes with a couple batteries. And pretty quick. Fun little truck for sure. 
You can see, it's not the world's fastest, but it definitely is slow. It's going to be much, quicker, 95, much tougher and more capable than anything that eight. you're going to get at these big box stores. And that's without a doubt. And what's also great about DRC, and I'm going to show you this, because say if you go find a, a RC car that you like at Target, and you buy it and you wreck it, good luck getting parts. That's all I got to say. And a lot of times they have the hard bodies that are irreplaceable. So if you crack a body, break something, it's just broken. You got to deal with it. And if it's broken to the point it doesn't function, you just have to throw it away. But what DRC does, and this is becoming more common on these RC cars on Amazon, is they are providing parts. And they are providing things like exploded views. I'm trying to find it here. Here it is. They give you the full exploded view of the car completely blown apart so you know exactly how it goes back together but then they also as you can tell by each part they have a part number and then as you flip through the catalog you can see they have all the parts catalogs and then on the front of the manual they actually give you the phone number and on the back they give you their address so you can call them and contact them because if they don't have the part that you need on amazon you can contact them and order that part but a lot of the more common parts like motors ESCs, uh, shocks, the dog bones, the, the A-arms, the more common things that you break, a lot of those, that stuff is already on Amazon for you to order. So you can just type like this, the 9500E, you can search 9500E parts and you'll get a parts list. So it's, it's really cool to have that luxury. Now this does run off of a 2S battery pack and I would keep it at 2S just because of the fact that it's brushed motors and it's more of a toy than it is like on the hobby grade side. But I am gonna show you one coming up next that is a 2S vehicle, but you can also run it on 3S and you can break 30 miles an hour with it. It's a very fast, fun little car. It'll do the 100 yard drag race in about three and a half seconds. But this is the DRC 9500E. It's $74.99. And if you punch in or whenever you hit the little link there, you're going to get 15% off. I've already entered the promo code for you, so it's all ready to go. You don't have to fumble and bumble with all that stuff. This is really excellent for your beginner, somebody who's just getting started. If you have a nephew that you think might like that, you know, you think might like RCs, it would be a good first RC car. It is fast enough to have fun with. It can go through grass, dirt, mud, whatever. It's four wheel drive. It's plenty capable. And it could really spark somebody's interest to get into the sport and give them the training and the experience they need to start progressing and upgrading and getting bigger vehicles. And this is the little 9500E. I like it. It's a fun little basher. You don't wince every time you crash because it's not a thousand dollars like some of those other ones. All right. So the next one that we're going to be talking about today is going to be this little dude right here. He's my new favorite. And it's a DRC 302 E. Now this one's $159, but it's for good reason because this is definitely on the hobby grade side, 100%. And it's a fast little dude. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get the car out. I'll get his accessory bag out. We got his manual. I try to keep all this stuff organized. Sounds like it, doesn't it? But anyway, this is the DRC 302E. And usually with the DRC vehicles, they have a number. And if they have the E on the back, that from all the ones that I have that are E's, tend to be... Never mind, I'm going to take that back. I was going to say brushless, but the one I just talked about ain't brushless. So I don't know what the E designates. Anyway, here it is right here, the 302E. And the very first thing that you're going to notice about this little RC car is the fact that you don't get one body, you get two bodies. They actually give you a clear Lexan body that you can actually paint yourself in any paint scheme that you want. And if you've never painted an RC body before, you usually paint them from the inside. You got to make sure there's no kind of like 
plastic film on the inside and then you paint it and your paint's going to look nice and shiny on the outside. Now, the way I'm going to paint this one, and I saw this from another big YouTuber, is they paint the inside silver and then they paint the color on the outside. And what that does is when you wipe out wreck, go skating on your roof or you hit something, it'll damage the paint on the outside, revealing the silver from the inside. And it looks like you're taking real damage just to give it that more like realistic patina effect. So pretty cool little idea. So I'm definitely going to try that with this body. And whenever I do do it, of course, I'm going to share it with you guys and let you see as it gets more and more tore up. Now, this is the body that comes with this car. It's exactly like the clear one, of course, except it's painted. And it's got the very nice black and uh, zombie green, I'm going to call it, marks on it. Very nice, sleek little uh, truck body, almost like a stadium truck or something. And you can see inside, I have my Sky RC. This is my GPS. I use this to time all these vehicles because I want to know how fast they actually go and not what the advertised speed is. And we're going to talk about the specs in just a minute. And I'm also going to ramp this thing 13 feet straight up in the air for the durability test. And I have a video of that I'm going to show you in just a moment. But first, I want to get into why this is more of a hobby grade than an actual toy. And we're just going to start in the front. The first thing you're going to notice on the front here, I don't know if that's in focus for you, but you have aluminum shocks. They are aluminum body. They are friction shocks, but they're not super bouncy like the typical friction shock. You also have the dog bones on the front or your, your CVs, CVDs or whatever, your drive shafts. They're made out of a shiny stainless steel, but it also has a steel differential in the front. The cups are steel, the gears are steel. So that's not common in toys, that's more common for hobby grade. If you look, on the inside here, let me pull the battery holder in. I don't know if you can see in here or not, but there's a silver drive shaft in there and it's nearly a quarter inch thick. And what that does is that connects your front to your rear because it is a four wheel drive vehicle. What's up, Matthew Pate? He's in the house stopping by to check on me. Make sure you guys check him out. But, uh, it's got a stainless steel drive shaft from front to back that's thick enough for probably a 10 scale car. So well over engineered on that. And when you get to the back, you still have the steel cups. You have the steel output shafts. You have ball bearings all the way throughout. You have the aluminum bodied shocks. Just all the stuff that you would expect on a higher end RC. And then when you look on the inside, you have an actual steering servo with a built in servo saver. And if you're new and you don't know what a servo saver is, that's if you take a hit to the front, it takes a shock off the servo and doesn't strip the gears out. And here's the big factor right here. It's got this brushless motor. It's not brushed. It is actually brushless. And this little car, when you run it on a 2S battery pack, that's what it comes with. A 2S 7.4 volt battery. I was getting 20, 20 miles an hour out of it. And it was doing the 100 yard drag race, I would say in about, it was like 4.5 seconds. Well, then I noticed on the little speed control right here, it says 2S or 3S. And if you don't know what the difference is, 2S is a seven volt battery, 3S is an 11 volt battery. So I stuck an 11 volt battery in it to see what it would do. And man, oh man, did this thing come alive. It became a wheelie king at that point. It would do 100 feet from a dead stop in three and a half seconds, it was doing 30 plus miles an hour. And I mean, just so much like speed and power, it was just nearly uncontrollable. Super, super quick, super capable. And as you can tell, even despite hopping it up with a bigger battery, it's still all in one piece. Very, very tough little car. And to back up what I'm saying, we're gonna cut to the video of my durability test of this at the skate park where I jumped it 13 feet straight up. Let's check that out. Fast video.
So what did you think about that? Let's do it one more time. Just fun to watch. Walk back to back. It's a good little basher. And the reason why I know it went 13 feet in the air is because of the GPS. It has an altitude setting on there. It tells me how many feet it will come in, how high it goes, how fast it goes. And like I said, I really can't recommend that you run it on a 3S battery pack because it might void your warranty. But if you do, you can expect 30 plus miles an hour. You can expect it to pull 0.85 Gs on takeoff. And you can expect it to do 100 feet from a stop in about 3.3, 3.4 seconds. It's a very zippy, zippy little car at those rates. My new favorite one by far and what's great about this as well is you could upgrade the motor if you want to. You could change out the speed control. You can upgrade your servo. I mean, there's just so many things that you can upgrade on this little car. But to me, it's great the way it is. And for 159 bucks, it costs twice as much as this little brother, but you're getting twice the car. This is more serious than the more toy grade one. And like I said, you get the extra Lexan body. They do have parts readily available on Amazon. You can replace the motor. You can replace the speed control. You can get new shocks. You can get new differentials if you want to. For instance, if you have to replace this differential, which it is steel gears, it's like $8.95 for a, a new you know, differential gear set. And, I mean, to me, you can't beat that with a stick. You can get the shocks. I think the shocks are only like 5 or 6 bucks a piece. So, an insanely good way... To get started in this hobby and if you have somebody in your family that you're buying a gift for this is a good route to go to get them started because it's quite capable and it's not going to let them down and bum them out and deter them from the sport this is only going to want you to you know it's going to make you fall in love with the sport and going to get you into it and make you want to go even faster and faster and i'm planning on taking this one bashing tomorrow i hope if my buddy mark is tuning in uh, we, we go down to the skate park and whenever I jumped that ramp and I went up in the air 13 feet that was on a 2S pack and 10-12 miles an hour slower than it does on a 11 volt battery so I'm going to do that again with full power I want to see if I can hit like 20 feet in the air and then we'll find out if we can break it or not then after I break it then I'll just have to fix it but at least we'll know what the limitations is and uh, I haven't broke it yet so I don't know what it can take, but I do want to find out. Super little car, lots of fun. It can do wheelies, it can do donuts. I mean, it does it all. I got a little short video of this bashing and trashing in the dirt so you can kind of see its off-road capabilities. And I just want you to know what to expect. So let's cut that little video real quick and I'll pack this one away and get the next. <laughs> What'd you guys think about that little dude how quick he was in the dirt all his flips and dips and all that other stuff he did 
And if you're wondering why my cameraman was so good for that little episode, well, my camera was actually a 360 camera. I have it listed on here. I might talk about it later if I have time, but it is the Insta360 One X2. And what I love about using that camera whenever I'm filming my RC stuff is I just put it on a tripod in the middle of where I'm gonna be driving and it records everything. I can just drive around, do my thing. And then when I bring all the footage at home, then I can just track the little car, put the tracker on it, and it actually follows the car. And it's like having your own personal cameraman there. So it makes it super, super easy and convenient for recording your RC stuff. All right, so next we're gonna to go to the DRC9300. This is the little brother of the 302E. And the reason why I say that is because they're really on the same chassis. They're the same size, but the 9300 is $69.99 instead of $159. I do have a coupon code preloaded to get you another 15% off of that. But the trade-off is, this is a little more toy than hobby, where the other one was full hobby grade upgradable. This one is more hobby than toy because you can upgrade this to that exact same car if you wanted to, but it is a very fun little car. Don't be fooled. If I was on a budget and I had to pick between the two, I would pick this one before I picked the other one because you can get the same speeds out of this one. It's the same truck. It just doesn't have as many metal parts and it's brushed instead of brushless, but Anyway, let's just go ahead. We'll strip her down, take a look at her, see what you're going to get. That way you can decide if this is going to be the right little RC for you. First of all, you can see you get the Lexan body. They're flexible. They take impacts. They're light and they're replaceable. That's what's great about these cars. You can actually order replacement bodies. You can get clear bodies. You can paint it yourself, whatever you want to do. That's always an option. Now we're going to start at the front of this vehicle. You're going to see it is independent front suspension, just like the other one. It does have the steel dog bones in the front, like the other one. The difference is here is you have a plastic differential. You have plastic bodies for the shocks. Now, with that being said, I have not broken it yet. I have not stripped out of gear. This has been our go-to car for several months now. This is the one we drive in the neighborhood. This is the one my three-year-old crashes into everybody's car up and down the street, and it's held up extremely well. If you flip it to the back, you have plastic body shocks here, but it is still independent rear in the back as well. You have the stainless steel dog bones, but you also have a plastic differential in the back. But like I said, I haven't stripped it yet, so no big deal to this point. There is a drive shaft connecting the front to the back. It's almost a quarter inch thick of stainless steel a very thick drive shaft for such a tiny car. Then you notice right away, this is a big brushed motor. It's not brushless. So this does run on 2S. This car does 19 miles an hour. And it's a lot of fun, especially for its size. And uh, yeah, this speed controller just says 7.4 volt. The, the brushless ones will say 2S or 3S. So. Just leave this on the, the stock battery and you're going to get about 20, usually a minimum of 20 minutes runtime on this little car and you get two batteries and it's pretty much the same with all of them. You get 40, 45 minutes of runtime with the batteries that they give you because just about every single car gets two batteries. This one also has the steering servo with the servo saver right there. And like I said, this car is so much like the other one. It just has more plastic parts, but you could literally buy the steel differentials for that car and put them in this car. And those parts are on Amazon. And you could do the same thing with the shocks. And then you could do the same thing with the ESC and with the motor. You could spend all that money to upgrade this, but if you want all those brushless motors and you want all the metal parts, buy the other one because it's going to cost you the same, even if you do it yourself. But if you want the experience of doing it yourself and learning how to tune your own car, well then buy this and buy the parts and put the motor that you want and the ESC that you want, and you'll have something that'll do 40 miles an hour. And maybe I'll do that one with uh, 
this one in the future. But like I said, it's a very capable little car. It's got the friction shocks. As it sits, it does 19 miles an hour. And uh, we've tried to break it many times and we've just had no luck to this point. But this is the DRC 9300. It is $69.99. It is probably one of their most popular items. It has four and a half stars. I see live streamers do this on Amazon all the time and I never do it, but they say. It's got four and a half stars with 6,744 reviews. So what does that tell you about this car? Almost 7,000 people have reviewed this car and it carries a four and a half. So you're pretty safe with that. I wonder what the other one has. The 302E, that one has 577 reviews at four and a half. And the 9500E, the old toy grade one, that was 75 bucks. That has 6,700 reviews at four and a quarter, four and a half stars. So we haven't come across any lemons yet. But uh, I do have a little video for this one if you want to see how fast it is. We'll kind of, I'll, I'll cue it up and I'll play it and I'll just kind of skip through it because I'm not going to sit there and make you watch a six minute video of me just driving around in my front yard. But I do kind of want you to see what you're going to get and how well this cuts through the grass and how fast it is. So let's go ahead and cut to that real quick. Provided I can find the right one. Try it out in the grass. You can see this little car can handle thinner grass. My neighbor has really thick grass. It can even go through that to a point. But when I say his grass is thick, it's up to your ankles. Couple speed runs. You can see very capable little car. It's zippy, it's fun. It is, we're gonna say price efficient with only being $69.99. And you get 15% off of that through my link because I've already preloaded the promo codes for you. And this is one of my definite, definite recommendations. I love this little car and it's just too much fun. And, uh, okay, I'm getting distracted. DRC 9300, that's what I was gonna say, with 6,700 reviews, and it's rated four and a half stars out of 6,700 reviews. I mean, you can't beat that with a stick, right? I mean, that's pretty, pretty amazing. And I will be getting more footage of these to update my footage that I show you because if you've seen me before, or if you follow me, and if you do follow me, I will give you a hype horn. This is what it is right here. And I was also thinking about something too in the future is of course, it's my goal to reach 2000 followers. And I was like, well, what can I do once I reach that point? 
and I'm either just going to pick one of these RC cars and do a, like a drawing just out of all, all the followers. I'll do like a live show and I will do a drawing out of whoever is in that live and give them that car. That was one idea. The second idea was I review a lot of RC vehicles. Like I have all these DRC ones, but I also have legendary ones. Like, oh, I don't know where I put it, but I have an excavator. I have a front end loader. I have, you know, a 10 scale legendary legend. And I was like, how cool would it be to just like give like one follower, like we'll do the drawing. And when they win the drawing, they can pick one out of all the RC vehicles that I've featured reaching that point and actually just let you pick which one that you want. Does that sound like a pretty cool idea? Let me know. Would you be interested in that? Would that be something worth following for knowing that if you get drawn, you can pick out of 20 or 30 RC vehicles, any one that you want. Sounds fun to me. And you would have to be watching the, the drawing show to actually win. So that would greatly increase your odds of winning. So anyway, we're going to get back on track. This is the DRC 9300. 69.99 with 15% off. Now the next one that we're going to go to, this is a straight up toy, 100%. No confusing it. And this is the one for my little three-year-old. And he loves it quite very much. And it's actually a surprising little vehicle. It's pretty fun. And this is the DRC DE69. $34.99 for all this car. And it is a lot of car for that price. And you get 15% off of that as well. So not too shabby. Now this does have dual motors. It's got one in the back. It's got one in the front. It is four wheel drive all day long. It's got these nice crawler tires on it. They're not super soft. They are firm tires, but they are air filled. There is no foam in here, but I mean, what do you expect for a toy, right? But the thing that impressed me the most about this little car, this little car right here is the fact that he's got four link suspension, like a true rock crawler in the rear and the front. I mean, it literally has two link bars, the two shocks and a drive shaft. Just crazy. Now the drive shaft is not actually functional because the motor's here in the differential, but for a toy, that's pretty good attention to detail. Now this thing only go, probably goes about 10 miles an hour. I have not put a GPS on it yet, but this will go through dirt. It will go through mud. It will go through grass. No problem whatsoever. And like I said, this is really good for your, your younger crowd, people who are really getting into it. My three-year-old, he drives it around and has a good time with it. But it's also got a couple hidden features and I'm gonna turn it on because it's gotta be on to show that to you. And the first one being is it lights up. How cool is that, right? It's got an LED show. And you can control that show from the controller itself. You got blink in, you got flash in, you got fades, and you got off. So pretty cool. The kids like to see it. This like sand body is built on. It does not come off. You actually have to use a screwdriver to get it off. But so, you know, if you wanted to take it off, you could, but there's no point. And uh, the paint scheme is super cool. You can't beat the four link suspension, but we still have one more secret for this little DE69. And in case you're into ratings and uh, reviews, this car has 1,788 reviews and it's rated at four and a half stars. Not too bad for a little car that costs $34. And then you can get 15% off of that. But here's the other secret secret you've all been waiting for um my oldest daughter is in the house nikel bennett she's watching from reviews and how to's on youtube thank you for joining us nikel say hi to bubba for me bubba's my son but anyway let's get back on track this is the other super secret feature of this fella right here and 
That's right. It's got a jet engine. If you have 1.2 gigawatts of power and can hit 88 miles an hour, this thing will time travel. But since we don't have either of those, we just have this faux jet engine in the back. It's got LEDs. It blows out a water mist. You just pour water in the top here and uh, you get this cool little action. My little boy loves it. He thinks it's cool, which you put your hand next to it. It is kind of cool, but it's, it's a fun little feature to have for sure. And uh, like I said, this is not a speed demon. It's, it's a hundred percent toy and awesome for your younger kids. Four wheel drive, capable in the grass. That's what I like about this is even though it's only 34 bucks, if you go to Target or somewhere and you buy something for 34 bucks, you better have it on the smoothest concrete on the planet or you're just going to be wasting your time. This little guy right here, you can drive through the grass. They can take it to the dirt, the mud, wherever they want to take it. And it's going to go through no issues whatsoever. And to me, that's a big bonus because there's nothing more disappointing than having an RC car that you have to drive in one particular spot or on one particular type of terrain. You know, we want to go everywhere. This ain't no pavement princess. This thing likes the dirt. But super fun little entry level car for sure. Now, what we're gonna do next, check my time. We're going to go check out a drone. This is a mini drone, it's called the DE, the DRC D23, I believe it is. Let me find it. All right, this one's gotta go home. loud in my ears is that loud to you guys let me know thanks i flew my drone away just out of here i swear let me see give me one second let me grab it oh. i found it it's here okay so this is the drc d23 They're always following me everywhere I go. But this is a little indoor drone right here. But don't be fooled. This little fella is quite capable. And I'm going to show you some cool stuff about it. I just want to get the controller out. You do get extra props all the way around with a propeller tool. You get two battery packs. So you're going to get like, a, I don't know, was it around 30 minutes of flight time between the two batteries? So like 15 minutes per battery. And here's your controller. It does have the phone holder. And what does that mean if it's got a phone holder? That means it's got a camera. That's right. You can fly this little guy around. And he's got a 720p camera right there. And you can see what the drone sees. So if you want to go peek over your neighbor's fence, here's the tool. Just don't get caught. But uh, I'm just kidding, by the way. Don't spy on your neighbors. Be a terrible idea but this is like an indoor outdoor drone of course if it's like super windy outside you don't want to take it out there but this guy has full prop covers over the top and around the sides so if you crash into somebody you hit your dog with it you're not going to hurt nobody it's super light and the prop guards are going to keep you from nicking a finger or anything like that now a lot of these little indoor drones like this, when you take them outdoors, they really, really suffer. The slightest breeze will just take them for days and you end up jumping somebody's fence trying to get your drone back. But this one has multi speeds and I had no issues whatsoever flying it in a light, like on a normal, just breezy day. I was able to put it into level three and it had the power to fly around and zoom. And this thing does flips as well. And it also has a hidden feature. I'm going to show you that in a second, but I have a short clip queued up with this thing doing flips and I want you to see it doing flips because it doesn't really work out that well when I try to do them live. It just makes me look even more like a clown. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. Here it is. Let's watch it. That's just pushing the right stick down.
And what it does is, I forgot about this. Is when you push. I just bounce. So we go a circle around the tree. That's what happens when you hit a tree. Bad flying discouragement. Try to fly around the tree again. You saw it there. Very capable little drone. It handles light wind, no problem whatsoever. It's great for indoors because it has all the prop guards, but the secret feature is what I like the most about it. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and show that to you. And there it is right there. It's the fact that this thing lights up. I mean, how cool is that, right? It was blinking at me, so I would put it down. But here it is right here. It's got these cool lights. If you want to mess with your neighbors, fly over their house in the middle of the night. Or if they were having a party and they'll swear it's a UFO. And you can control the lights. You have different modes. You have an alternating mode. It does light up from top and bottom. You have a rotating mode. And you have just the back lights or no lights. And then you can just turn them back on again. Now, a quick tip. If you have, and it doesn't really matter who makes it, but if you buy small indoor drones like this or any of these little drones, a lot of people have problems with them not wanting to fly straight or hold level or height or whatever. And that's because what a lot of people tend to do is they'll take their drone and they'll turn it on like this. And then they'll connect it with their controller. And what it does is it'll calibrate like this. So now the drone thinks that this is level when this is, should be level. So, of course, when you take off, it's going to start doing all kind of crazy wonky stuff is trying to correct itself. So when you turn these little drones on, you want to set them on a flat surface. That way they can calibrate nice and level. And then when you fly it, it's going to stay nice and level and make your life just so much easier. This one has auto takeoff. Like I said, you can take photos, you can take videos with it. It'll record them straight to your phone. And if you wanted to do a flip with this, you have the right stick. You just push down on the right stick and it'll start beeping like that. And then you just push up, back, left to right. Whatever direction you push is the direction it's going to cut a flip. And then if you push this side right here down, see that's speed three, speed one, speed two. So if you're flying inside, put it on speed one. You don't want to go thrashing through the house and take somebody's eye out. But if you're going outside and it's windy, put it in speed three because you're going to need all the power you can get. And of course, you can expect things like if you're running around in speed three wide open, your battery is not going to last it long as if you're cruising around in speed one indoors. But a very cool, capable little drone. It's a lot of fun. It flies really, really well. Great for the beginner or somebody who wants to learn because you can just wreck it on repeat and you're not going to damage this little guy. I mean, you could literally throw it across the yard as hard as you wanted to, and you're not going to break it. So great for somebody who wants to get the fundamentals down and to actually try to experience a camera drone. It's got a 720p camera in it. You can take pictures, you know, you can take videos, all that cool stuff. Yes, it's always a plus if it lights up. I agree, Nikel. Got to have the party. Now, I'm going to go back because I'm going to talk about my little 360 camera real quick just because I added it to the show and I'm going to play this video and I'm just going to kind of over talk this video while it's on. That was my bug zapper. I should do a, a giveaway every time the bug zapper, zapper goes off. Somebody gets 10 bucks or something. That'd be funny. But uh, what's good about the 360 camera, if I haven't explained it to you already is you just set it up in the middle of where you're driving your RC car or your drone or whatever, and it records the entire 
360 area and you just drive like you normally would you don't have to worry about pointing your camera anywhere you don't have to worry about setting it up none of that stuff you just hit record and you drive and then when you get done you put the footage on your computer or upload it to your phone and you can actually track the object that you want to see so it looks like a cameraman sitting there following your rc car the whole time when really you just did it by yourself on a tripod and they're also the 360 cameras which i don't even know where to put my in that bag back there let me get it real fast i just broke my frames and it breaks it okay i'm back but this is what it looks like excuse me you have a lens on the front you have a lens on the back and it records the ground the sky a full 360 all at the same time and i just set it on a tripod and hit record and then i just reframe the shot afterwards and what's really cool about 360 cameras like this is say if you do a lot of like say youtube and you do things like instagram or facebook or TikTok, you can shoot one video with this and you can reframe it to 16 by 9 which is horizontal or you can do the 9 by 16 which is vertical you can change the format with the same video and say if you're at a party with this and everybody's having a good time if you ever tried to film a party especially when you're drinking you know something's happening over here while you're recording over here and you miss the shot you put one of these up and hit record and you record everything and you can actually make separate videos with what happened over here and what happened over here and what happened over here all off the same recording so very handy little tool for sure and that's the insta 361 x2 now do you guys have any questions whatsoever dang bugs or something gotta love florida if you have any questions about any of the cars that we've covered i'll flash them across the bottom of the screen we've had the 9500e we've had the 302e we've had the drc 9300 the de69 the d23 any of those if you have a question just ask i'll be more than happy to answer it and we're going to go right now real quick to this little device right here and this is my gps module I put this in the RC cars while I'm testing them because what it does is it connects to your phone via Bluetooth. And after you do your driving around, it comes back and you can download your stats. You can find out how high it jumped, how fast it went, how many G forces you pulled. You can do custom drag races where you can set a distance like zero to a hundred feet and it will time that distance for you to let you know how fast it did that distance. And just a really cool thing it's good for cars of course airplanes it's, it's made for the rc hobby altogether so you can put it on a drone put it on a plane put it on a car put it on a boat just whatever and uh it's just a really handy little tool especially if you do a lot of remote control stuff because boxes all day long they claim false claims about speed and times and all that stuff so i like to have a tool that i can actually either back up and verify what the box says or tell you what it's actually going to do so you know exactly what to expect so handy little tool for sure okay so if nobody has any questions anybody want to see anything else if not just let me you know that's fine too you can catch me on the next time because i will be doing this live again later this week so for those of you that are still here, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me and coming to talk RC cars a little bit. And, you know, you can find me on Facebook. Send me a message if you like the idea of a winner of a contest being able to pick out the RC they want. Or should I just dedicate it to a certain one and have it sitting back here for everybody to kind of be able to look at their goal of what they want to win. So, hope we got a follower Brandy is a new follower. Oh, I need my glasses on. So, Brandy, this is your salute for following. Thank you so very much for joining us. But as I said, we're wrapping this live up. I will be back probably tomorrow and the next day. 
And I don't know if I'm going to do DRC tomorrow or Legendary or both. Maybe I'll start doing them both together. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And be sure to hit that follow button. If you like this, let everybody know. And if you want to see it again, just come back later. Stay safe. Have fun.